Welcome, 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 Duality9Xers. Welcome, wherever you guys are on this beautiful planet. Hey guys, we've got a, a good lineup of videos for you guys and I uh, can't wait to share them with you. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I know there's a lot of interesting things happening. Uh, so, we've got a lineup of some pretty crazy, freaky, scary, uh, very paranormal type videos. So, uh, if you guys are in for a good scare, and if you guys are in for some quality content, well, I've got some good stuff uh, to share with you guys. So, without further ado, I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are strapped in. I hope you guys um, have your favorite beverage. Unfortunately, I don't have mine today. If you guys haven't already, please smash the like and subscribe and comment. Comment on the videos. All those things definitely help with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you want to support this channel, there's no better way to do that than to smash the like and subscribe. Uh, we've got some uh, very interesting videos to show you featuring Creep Caught. Their information is in the description, so I can't wait to begin to share this stuff with you. Without further ado, let's get it. Home is where the heart is, they say. But what if, within the confines of your own sanctuary, something otherworldly lurks? captured only by the unblinking eyes of security cameras. People remain very skeptical of paranormal beings like Veronica Shannon, a single mother residing in an undeniably haunted apartment. What started as peculiar occurrences, initially dismissed as pranks, led Veronica to install cameras, capturing some truly eerie incidents. Initially skeptical, Veronica's perspective shifted as the recorded footage unfolded strange events. Convinced that something otherworldly lingered, she decided to relocate a few months later. The turning point occurred one night when a friend was entering her apartment, seemingly alone in the living room. The footage revealed a ghostly figure materializing and then vanishing into thin air. No way! No one else was there. Was it a former owner's spirit, people wondered? Veronica remained uncertain, dismissing the idea of a deceased owner. Wow. Right there, guys. <laughs> However, the atmosphere took a darker turn. Look at the orange. Shortly after, the door to the kid's bedroom mysteriously locked itself. Just what happened to you if something bad happened. You back towards that they don't even know what's going on. They're just filming. The ensuing struggle saw three adults wrestling with the door to gain entry. Understandably spooked, Veronica made the decision to leave this unsettling place. Following this unnerving recording, she found a new home for her family, bidding farewell to the eerie incidents that once plagued their daily lives. But what if leaving your cherished family home isn't an option, even when paranormal activities become a daily occurrence? For a family in England, their house, filled with strange happenings since 1997, holds sentimental value despite the unexplainable phenomena. From mysterious noises to objects moving on their own, each unusual event appears to escalate the paranormal activity. Living in a constant state of fear, the family strives for comfort. During a rare family chat with a visiting friend, the father records the moment on his phone, capturing a chilling incident. When it seems things have settled, heavy footsteps above them disrupt the calm. Slightly unfazed, they laugh it off and investigate. Standing at the base of the stairs, an unseen presence rushes down at full speed. When I'm sitting on the seat. <laughs> so Why are you moving closer and closer towards me? And almost in my lap, never. Why is that in your coat? She's ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you trust over there anymore, Weber? No, Morgan. 
why he moved out in the first place. Whatever you send, yeah. Oh, God. In the oven. <laughs> No! <laughs> you go. I'm oh, alright! I'm done! Oh, go together! Yeah, go together! They are! It always happens on TV, eh? Yeah. I just don't even like it! <laughs> That's a couple of stairs. Oh my god. Oh no. boy. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> There's nothing there, not again. There's nothing there. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> this could very well be the most terrifying moment in their ongoing paranormal saga, a haunting experience that will linger in their memories forever. Just like Cardi E, who shared a video on so- Guys, that is just... Like, what do you do? You're, you're sitting there with a few of your friends or your family, and you're having a conversation. You get, have laughs and giggles, and all of a sudden, it gets interrupted by an unknown presence. I, I don't know, man. That's just mind-boggling stuff. And so this, this obviously must have happened at least a few times because they were aware. Like, I mean, they know something's there. And... Um, they're just they're just kind of like okay yeah here we go again it's happened again we got the camera recording so let's just try to figure this out and find out what exactly it is and try to get to the root bottom of this huh i i yeah i mean i i don't know if there's like a follow-up to this I'm, I'm wondering what happened did they end up moving out like the previous you know video that we saw with the family that ended up moving out of that home curious but that is pretty scary stuff that's pretty wild and that first video how that apparition just like materialized out of nothing and it looked like it was like an older individual behind behind the guy opening the door and all of a sudden it just kind of disappeared again it's amazing how these cameras can capture that kind of video footage all right let's let's go to this next one here Social media seeking help about some haunting experiences that left her and her family baffled. Carrie E. opens up about unsettling experiences captured by a motion-activated camera in her ex's bedroom. Hoping for insights, she details the strange occurrences affecting her daughter, stepmom, and daughter's boyfriend in the house. Amidst odd incidents like lights misbehaving and phantom voices in the daughter's room, there's an eerie shower tale. The house becomes a cacophony while the daughter showers, only to fall into silence upon her exit. Despite previous attempts to cleanse the space with sage, the unsettling activities persist. The recorded video adds a chilling layer to their concerns. Whoa, Initially whoa, detecting whoa. motion on the TV, the camera reveals an unexplained shadow figure on the right side of the screen. No one was in the room, what? and the shadow moved to the left, disappearing without a trace. The origins of this mysterious silhouette remain unknown, leaving the family pondering whether to sage again wow. or consider a more drastic move. It was truly a creepy encounter, and creepiness often extends beyond the beeping monitors, delving into the paranormal realms lurking wow. within hospital walls and corridors. A CCTV camera caught more than expected in this particular case. The automatic doors, known for occasional malfunctions as per the security guard, exhibited an unusual incident. Today, however, brought a different twist as the security guard, on a second look, noticed something peculiar reflecting in the glass of the door. Left baffled, he witnessed what appeared to be a ghost or ghosts. Opinions vary, with some suggesting a paranormal presence, wow, while others lean towards the possibility of a passerby. Despite skepticism about the latter, the mysterious connection between the reflection and the door's opening adds an extra layer of intrigue to this eerie occurrence. But some individuals are eager to capture them on camera, just like the Devil's Hour production crew. They bravely entered the infamous Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee, renowned as one of the most haunted locations. Spending about 10 hours that night, their investigation took a chilling turn on the third floor. Two hours in, a team member using their specially designed POV rig captured something mysterious at the end of a hallway. Initially, it appeared as a figure standing by a door, only to vanish. Upon careful examination of the slowed-down footage, a clearer image emerged. 
The team believes it could be a shadow figure watching them that night. The lingering question remains, is this a possibility, oh. an actual spirit, or perhaps a former patient? Because it's huh. a common belief that the spirits of those who passed away in hospitals often linger yeah, in their right corridors. There, right there. In some instances, like the one shared by internet user Terrell Lente, a girl's spirit decided to pay a visit. Working in an old hospital that he firmly believes to be haunted, Terrell recounts hearing strange voices in empty hallways and encountering shadows over the past few months. This time, after hearing what sounded like a little girl's voice, he takes out his cell phone to record as he walks through different corridors, determined to trace the source of the mysterious sounds. Initially mistaken for a garbage bin or medical equipment, the video reveals something more chilling, the apparition of a girl dressed in white. However, the supernatural events didn't end there. Their security system captured another eerie occurrence the same night. A dark shadow apparition oh, emerging from the wall, hovering in the hallway, then vanishing back into the wall. Look at that, look at that, look. You can clearly see there's like a shadow figure and it's just slowly walking back and forth between that corridor. Where it's going, I don't know. It almost looks like it has a long gown or dress. Wow, what is that? It's safe to say that something otherworldly was at play that night. Speaking of otherworldly occurrences, cemeteries often serve as a common ground for mysterious activities, like a game of hide and seek played by dark entities. John, a paranormal investigator propelled by a life-altering near-death experience eight years ago, embarks on eerie journeys, armed with a camera and a quest for truth. His mission involves exploring haunted houses and locations to either illuminate or debunk the mysterious sightings people claim to have encountered. On a particular day, John's curiosity led him to the old San Antonio Cemetery, established in 1853, adorned with over 3,800 graves. As he steps into this historical resting place, an unsettling energy engulfs him, a sensation of being observed in the apparent solitude. While capturing the dark expanse of the graveyard, the footage takes a chilling turn. A shadowy figure materializes to the left of his flashlight, disappearing right abruptly as the light touches it. Oh my gosh. Just like that, it just disappears. John labels it as one of his most chilling captures. Could it be the lingering soul of one of... That, that's just wild, guys. That's just absolutely insane. Like, you could clearly see from this video footage, there's something that's walking across the camera. As soon as the light hits it, it starts to just kind of disappear into thin air. John labels it as one of his most chilling captures. Could it be the lingering soul of one of the cemetery's residents? And what could send shivers down your spine is when a peculiar entity chooses to linger underground rather than in a cemetery, revealing itself through a manhole. A group of men gathers around the manhole, drawn by the belief that someone or something lurks within its depths. The person recording decides to take a closer look, and to their shock, a head suddenly pops into view from under the open manhole. The unexpected appearance is enough to jolt the recorder into a terrified sprint, reminiscent of a scene straight from a horror movie. As the man retreats, the ghastly face vanishes, leaving the onlookers in perplexity. Regardless of its authenticity, 
the brief and eerie cameo of the mysterious entity remains an unsettling mystery. Wow. Much like the enigma encountered by Ali, a renowned ghost hunter, during his visit to an abandoned mountain home, oh, with rain pounding down and an impending storm, Ali steps into the eerie home, only to witness swift, strange occurrences. Doors in one room move seemingly on their own, prompting Ali to investigate. Undeterred, he ventures outside into the worsening weather. In the midst of a raging thunderstorm, a shocking moment unfolds. Illuminated by a lightning strike, a dark figure with a humanoid form materializes by the building's side. Wow, it looks like there's like a bike there. And like who would just leave that? There's somebody's obviously living at this place. Strange knocking can be heard from inside one of the rooms. Oh! What? What was that? Is that? Oh, right there! As Ali approaches, the entity vanishes without a trace. No! Guys! Goosebumps, the man. lingering question emerges. Was the thunderstorm a conduit for the manifestation of this mysterious figure? According to weather experts, spirits may draw on energy sources to communicate with the living and manifest themselves. Spirits manifesting and haunting people can take various forms, and for some, the eerie encounters involve possessed dolls. On April 16th, 2023, around midnight, a man named Jacob experienced something that sent shivers down his spine. Not too long ago, Jacob inherited an old house and a creepy clown doll named Jeffrey from his grandmother. Unsettled by Jeffrey's presence, Jacob kept the doll locked away in a separate room. However, one fateful night changed everything. Awoken by strange noises, Jacob investigates, leading him to the room where Jeffrey is stored. A series of chilling events unfold, loud bangs, footsteps on the stairs with no visible source, and the door slowly creaking open to reveal Jeffrey, now staring directly at Jacob. I just heard banging. What is going on? Here's it again. This is not good. This is not good. It's a very, very old house. No way. Terrified, what? Jacob ends the video and locks himself in his room until morning, convinced that Jeffrey is haunted. Fearful of a repeat or worse, Jacob decides to move Jeffrey to the basement, equipped with a security camera for monitoring. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement, so 
I'm gonna follow up. This is the result so far. I'm gonna leave them here for now. But I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here. So Jeez. we're gonna see if there's anything I miss. A few nights later, the camera captures unexpected movement, initially dismissed as the heater's oscillation. However, things take a terrifying turn as Jeffrey's arm moves on its own, a light bulb explodes, plunging the basement into darkness, and a mysterious whisper is heard. Disturbed by these events, Jacob decides to keep Jeffrey locked up in the basement, recording oh, see, any that future arm movements. just kind of goes out. As of now, and then moments Jacob later, hasn't provided further updates, boom, leaving the light this goes unsettling out. video shrouded in mystery. The question of whether inanimate objects, such as toys and dolls, can harbor curses, spirits, or supernatural energies has long intrigued paranormal investigators. Recent eerie videos on social media further fuel this debate, leaving viewers questioning the possibility of haunted dolls. After acquiring a doll from a local antique auction, a homeowner created a social media account called Haunted Charlotte to document the strange events unfolding. The couple discovered random objects on the That's floor shortly doll. after bringing the doll home, prompting speculation about its haunted nature. To investigate, they set up a camera to film the doll while they were away. In the footage, objects in the house move around and the dog appears spooked by unseen forces. Oh. Oh, okay. Another video shows peculiar activity when the antique doll is placed next to the daughter's Cabbage Patch doll. Despite removing the batteries and cutting the power cord inside the doll, it continues to move. A commenter suggests checking the batteries in the doll's feet, but even after confirming their removal, the doll persists in its mysterious movements. Wow. Curious about the doll's history, the homeowner learns that it may have once belonged to Princess Charlotte Augusta of Wales, born in 1796, who tragically died in 1817 after giving birth, in an attempt to connect wow. with any attached spirits. There's no batteries in this thing. How is it moving? The uploader conducts a seance, capturing flickering torchlight on the desk. Undeterred, the couple takes the doll on vacation, setting up a camera in their hotel room. The footage reveals oh tissues seemingly flicking out of a box on their own. And when it comes to the supernatural, animals seem to have a special sense that often eludes us humans. A young mother, who usually shares videos about her kids and their dog Luna, recently had a peculiar encounter in the woods that she can't dismiss as normal. Walking in the woods, Luna, their dog, suddenly refused to go further, sensing something amiss. The family felt an eerie presence watching them from behind the trees. Wow. The dog doesn't want to proceed further. Because it senses something. No, no, it's not having it. Luna, Jackson, come here, please. Come here. Come behind. Huh. Oh, right there. Look. Let's go. Let's go. Look. Yet they couldn't discern what it was. Was it something otherworldly or simply an animal? It's hard to say. 
but wow. their curiosity led them to return another day, only to witness something equally intriguing in the distance. The woman believes it to be the same entity or creature they encountered earlier. The young woman's encounter in the woods left her contemplating the mysterious presence she felt, joining the ranks of unsolved oh. mysteries that often leave people questioning their wow. reality. Similarly, a peculiar incident unfolded for Rob Counts while spending time alone hey, in the countryside near a earlier videos. During a conversation now with a farm worker, to it. Rob casually inquired if he had witnessed anything unexplainable. The worker's animated response led him to show Rob a video captured in the nearby woods. What's super weird about that video is the guy who took the video won't even go back into those woods anymore. Did you see the dog in the video? That dog was growling and it was looking over into the area where the apparition appears. And it was just, what a crazy video. I, could, I just still, I can't believe it. And I haven't been able to figure out what's going on. I mean, what do you guys think? As Rob watched, his face turned pale. A mysterious white figure was seen walking between the trees before vanishing into thin air. The dog accompanying him visibly sensed the presence and began to growl. The video has sparked belief among viewers, with many considering it proof of a ghost caught on camera. Some even entertain the idea of the entity being an interdimensional being caught in the act of traveling through time. The mysterious and eerie events captured on camera can... Guys, that, that's insane. So we featured this actually in one of my earlier videos. I think it was episode... Whew, episode 11 or episode 13. Uh, but this guy, this guy talks about how he went on some um, somebody's land and there was a farmer there and they, they got into conversation and in the midst of, you know, uh, chatting, the farmer's talking about some weird events that have been happening and he starts talking about the woods and pointing in that direction. And so, so the, the, the interviewer the the guy who's recording this is like just puzzled he's just like wow and he 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 reiterates the fact that the farmer does not want to go back into that woods um and and there was i think i think from what i understand there's a possibility that the apparition uh, the apparition that we just saw could have been like a confederate soldier or um because it had like old military type of garb and uniform on so uh something to signify that of that era so it, it's quite possible i mean a lot of things happened and maybe this was an area that uh, a big battle might have happened uh during the civil war or something along those lines i mean i mean who knows right but but very very intriguing and i'll, I'll try to find the video and i'll link it uh to to this uh to this time but let's let's continue we've got a few more here and then uh, we'll have to wrap continue to challenge our understanding of the supernatural leaving us with more questions than answers just like this recent clip that's been circulating on various social media platforms adds to this intrigue although there's limited information about the video it was recorded on a car's dash cam revealing something peculiar in the video a perplexing figure appears suddenly on the road wow. standing motionless the startled driver reacts by yelling and swerving to avoid the enigmatic presence. Wow. <laughs> with the video being a brief 10 seconds, it leaves viewers with more questions than answers. However, this footage presents a compelling Holy. case for the existence of a ghost caught on camera. Imagine driving home late at night, and suddenly, your vehicle comes to a halt plunging you into an eerie situation. This is precisely what unfolded for a man taking a supposed shortcut through a field on a dark night. As his car mysteriously malfunctions, leaving him bewildered, the dash cam records a peculiar sight in front of his stalled vehicle. Whoa. Convinced that he's captured a ghostly presence, he wonders whether this spectral figure could be the cause of his car trouble, potentially draining the battery and forcing yeah, the sudden halt. Quite possible. Much like the ghost of a young girl causing Mitch to stop on the Hume Highway near Bardia, Australia, a highway carrying whispers of hauntings and apparitions, stories of figures appearing, 
and then vanishing into thin air. Notably among these tales is the legend of a ghostly woman making brief appearances only to disappear without a trace. One evening, just before 8 p.m., Mitch's dash cam captured something deeply unsettling. The silhouette of what appears to be a young child emerges and stands ominously in the middle of the road. Huh. The mysterious ghostly figure, seemingly draped in a large jacket or blanket, appears to step out towards Mitch's vehicle as he approaches. Hindered by the toy hauler he was towing, Mitch found it impossible to stop without risking a collision. Shocked and concerned, his mother, seated beside him, quickly called the emergency services, reporting the unnerving sighting. They later reached out to the local police station, believing their footage might assist any potential investigation. To their relief, they were informed that the child had been found and was safe. However, the story takes an even more eerie turn. New South Wales police later announced that no child was discovered, despite an exhaustive search that continued until the early hours of the next day. They found no reports of missing children, deepening the mystery. So, who or what did Mitch's dash cam capture that haunting night? Yeah, what is... In a world where cameras document our every move, unsettling moments caught on film have become a shared experience. Hmm. Sometimes, people unintentionally agree. capture things, only realizing later during a review, or when someone points it out, just like what happened with Becca. Around 9 p.m., Becca, enjoying a quiet evening at home with her new puppy, recorded a video. Everything seemed normal until, weeks later, she shared the video with a friend. To her surprise, a mysterious figure appeared, and with her aunt oh. and uncle away, she was left questioning her solitude. Whoa. Oh, good boy. Oh, get it. Oh, good puppy. Good Whoa. Boy. I'm surprised that the strange the dog's black attention. figure, almost cloth like, sparked an unsettling feeling, raising the haunting question is it a shadow person or a long lost family member? In the realm of paranormal phenomena, not every otherworldly entity opts for a game of hide and seek. Some prefer to mess around by moving things, like a poltergeist. And poor Troy got caught up in the mix. Oh, Troy no. shares some supernatural ghostly encounters from his home and explains that he's been hearing terrifying sounds and banging from his basement door and attic, suspecting it could be something paranormal or even a demon. To investigate, Troy sets up CCTV cameras in these areas where the strange activities occur. One morning, while he's away at work, the basement camera captures the ceiling fan spinning followed by banging on the basement door. Days pass without incident, creating a deceptive calm that is shattered when the basement camera captures knocks, Whoa. growls, and a violent swing of the door. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so the, the camera is catching on. Wow. Chairs beneath the dining table move of their own accord, and the door slams shut once more, followed by the unnerving symphony of growls and wow, bangs. Look, the, chair. the door opens again, a heavy bench crashes into the wall, and the haunting sounds persist before the activity subsides for several days.
However, the respite is short-lived as chairs move inexplicably, creating confusion for Troy upon his return home. Investigating the basement, he is met with the slamming of the door behind him, prompting a hasty retreat. Convinced of paranormal involvement, Troy turns to the attic footage, revealing ethereal orbs hovering and a small door sliding open and closed mysteriously. Trying to see if I can. If there's anything else that's going on. I'm looking around. So, yeah, clearly the homeowner's confused. Viewers are spooked, with many believing Troy's videos offer undeniable proof of paranormal activity, suggesting a malevolent poltergeist might be in his home. And much like Troy, Ashy found herself in a ghostly dance with the supernatural. In this spine-tingling clip, Ashy kicks back into her kitchen, only for the lampshade to start its own ghostly dance. Look it sways that. back and forth, Look and then, that. on the opposite side of the room, another object joins the spectral ballet. A bowl by the sink crashes to the side, followed by a parade of objects deciding to move independently. This video, wow. with a staggering 31 million views on social media, has sent shivers down spines. Many are convinced a pesky poltergeist is at play, advising Ashy to pack up and leave before things take a darker turn. And to be fair, it's a reasonable suggestion given the difficulty of living with such disturbances. Another homeowner, feeling similarly overwhelmed, decided to leave her home, prompting YouTuber Chriselle Luna to investigate. During the home tour, unusual activity occurred, and the resident appeared unsurprised, suggesting she was accustomed to such happenings. Later, as they examine a crucifix, it moves mysteriously on its own. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold! Up! The tour continues, and the poltergeist has one more surprise in store. A spoon that's in the glass moves on its own. Although not overly aggressive, the presence is enough to sympathize with the homeowner. Now, Selsa Ann's poltergeist haunting ordeal unfolds in a series of eerie incidents within her home, creating an atmosphere of fear and unexplainable occurrences. She shares her unsettling experiences, particularly in the bathroom, where strange noises, moving objects, and taps turning on at random become nightly disturbances. Seeking answers, Selsa takes the courageous step of documenting the paranormal activity and sharing it on social media, hoping for insights or assistance from those who may have encountered similar situations. I'm trying to catch this on video for at least two weeks now. Um, I have been seeing things move. Everybody thinks I'm nuts. I know what I saw. Wow, these people are brave. Here. They're, they're absolutely me. brave. Okay. In one chilling video, she directly addresses the unseen entity, asking it to reveal itself. Almost in response oh to her plea, a drawer slowly opens on its own. I don't own. know if that's a good Come idea. Come on, ghost. If there's a ghost in this house. You're calling it out. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my my. Oh my god. I told you. Okay. <laughs> the fact that she's still there, I would have been like, oh, my God. oh boy, look. There's nobody there. How do you explain that? As she that? cautiously approaches, the drawer inexplicably closes, heightening the tension in the room. He's scared. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. Sometimes. I'm hearing noises, sometimes things get thrown off the counter. I just want to make sure that you see nothing because... Oh, look at that. This is really creepy. I'm so over it. You don't see any To dispel lines, skepticism nothing. and offer a more comprehensive view, Celsa shares another video captured by a setup camera weeks before the heightened activity began. The footage reveals her at home relaxing in bed when unexplained noises from the bathroom disturb her peace. Drawers open mysteriously, adding to the growing list of paranormal events within her household. Wow. Come on, John, hurry up and get home. Really, there's nothing in there. Nothing there. Oh, look at that. Wow, a third drawer. It's just the cat box. What do you guys, what do you guys think it is? I mean, it can't be tricks or anything like that. Look, there's even yeah, mirrors and stuff and there's nothing. As as John gets here, Look I'm at that, there's nobody down. anywhere. <laughs> The intensity of the haunting is further emphasized when Celsa's daughter becomes a first-hand witness to the eerie happenings. While searching for something in the bathroom, a drawer slides open by itself, startling her. Filled with fear, she swiftly exits the bathroom, leaving viewers perturbed by the authenticity of the encounters. Mom! Where is it? The online response is mixed, with sympathetic commenters suggesting various solutions, from burning sage to considering relocation. Skeptics yeah. question the authenticity, attributing the events to a quest for views. However, the genuine terror displayed on Celsa's daughter's face adds a compelling layer to the haunting, leaving viewers unsettled and pondering the mysteries within Celsa Ann's home. Delving into Oh, guys, that was absolutely incredible. I told you guys, you guys were in for a treat. I told you guys this was going to be scary. So that is probably one of the scariest stuff that I've seen uh, so far. Um, real life poltergeist, like, you know, and, and it seems like now that the video quality, you know, the phones are getting better, cameras, you know, like, I mean, who has cameras these days, right? I mean, everybody's got a phone. Phones have obviously built-in cameras and the quality of those cameras, in most cases 4K, 1080p, whatever, but people are shooting, shooting in high definition, right? And so they're, they're actually capturing high quality content. I mean, 
we're still getting a lot of images and a lot of things that are grainy and very hard to make out, but now you're starting to see things like this. And, you know, with drawers opening and closing and things materializing in front of the camera and disappearing, shadow figures walking back and forth. This is just crazy. It's just crazy. And, uh, wow, how these guys put on a brave face day in, day, day out, like, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that's absolutely shocking. Guys, if you have a scary video or if you've got anything that's shocking, you know, creepy you know anything that fits in line with what we're trying to showcase here um, please uh, send me an email or share it in the comment uh, I'd love to check it out um, so thanks to thanks to our subscribers who have been sending information and stuff I think it's been absolutely useful I can't wait to get to some of those videos uh, but for now that's all we have but I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please smash the like and subscribe. And if you guys are uh, existing, uh, returning viewers, please like and comment on the videos. It definitely helps. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for your support. And until our next adventure, and until, until we, we meet again, and in the meantime and in between time, that's it. That's another, that's another episode. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, Go and enjoy the rest of the day and uh, do something positive. I look forward to hearing your guys' comments or reading your comments and replying back. And uh, until next time, we'll meet again. So have a good one. Take care, guys.